Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Mike and this is Bubba's Workbench. So today on Hit or Miss, we're going to showcase a mini lathe by a company called Drill Pro that I picked up from banggood.com. And uh, I saw this thing and its intended purpose is for making beads. And prayer beads, I think is a better term for it. And but however, I see it and first thought goes to my mind is I wonder if you could use that for other items that are small in size, such as pen turning or other small object turnings. I realize you wouldn't be able to go anything too big a diameter. Um, I don't think you could do more than an inch and a half, you know, by inch and a half piece of wood on here. So, however, the price is ridiculously cheap. Okay, there are several versions of this mini lathe. They all look identical. Uh, but yet there's like two different brands if you go to their website and you take a look at so I don't really know what the differences are However, when you go to the site and you're looking for mini lathes um, the, the way that I chose what I chose was based on what it came with this one seemed to have the most items and Actually, I'll, I'll take that back. The biggest reason I bought this one was because it actually came with Some little they call it carving tools with a little mini lathe tool So I'm thinking well, that's perfect. And now I've got the tools necessary to try to turn something uh, most of the other sets, they don't come with turning tools. They might come with one sort of cutter. I'm not sure what kind of a tool it is, if it's a skew or, or whatever it might be. Um, and then some other items. Uh, but this one is pretty complete, so let's go ahead and walk through what you get with it. As I mentioned, you get your tools. You get these three little drills, which I'm calling them hole drills. They are to help establish the diameter of the bead that you're making, if you're going to make beads. So... I may never use these, but they're interesting looking. They kind of have a fake diamond coating. I don't know what you call that on there. Um, it's got a very rough end on there. I'm assuming that would be like a diamond coating, as they'd call it. Uh, it has a standard style chuck. You know, you've got your little key. It appears that the largest bit you'd fit in here is a quarter inch. Um, you know, got your standard Allen wrench to make adjustabilities. Now, the only thing, this is where we begin with the drawback or some of the negative aspects of this particular kit. It only comes with this little threaded rod. I don't know what you call this. And you basically drill a little hole in the wood and it just screws in. A, a soft wood would quite possibly pull right out. They actually sell a little mini spur. And some of the other kits or versions of this come with that spur already, but they don't come with the tools. Okay. Let's go to the second negative thing about this drill pro mini lathe. These tools are absolute garbage. So that was a total waste of a decision as far as I chose this model because of the tools. They're junk. They're just, they're junk. Um, the biggest flaw I see in them is the steel is so thin. Um, quickly to go over to, here's a couple turnings I made. On this lathe actually that are like I said I used it for its unintentional purpose I didn't make beads I attempted to make a honey dipper first thing I've ever turned right here so proud of it I know it's a piece of junk and it's kind of funny looking but I did however make this entire honey dipper with those garbage tools so then what I would be a suggestion though if you're gonna get this don't buy the kit that comes with them I went to Harbor Freight and bought the basic cheapo, I think they were on a special sale for $16, you know, eight piece tool set, much better results, even though, well, they worked better. Results were not better. I came up with this weird concoction and I messed it up so bad that I just said, you know what? It's not a problem, it's a feature. True engineering, you know, in attitude. Um, so I call this my steampunk version of a, a honey dipper. Kind of looks like a I don't know, looks like a light beacon or something, whatever. So there's my proof of concept and I'm gonna roll a video right now just to show it in action. I didn't wanna to record too much of what I did because one, it would probably freak people out who know what they're doing and plus I'm a little too embarrassed to show my um, horrific skills at turning. So let's go ahead and roll that video and I'll be right back. Okay, I got a little bit carried away there and already started and realized I wasn't recording. So let's continue where I left off here. And I did increase the speed 
I am at a 16 volt right now. And that seems to be pretty good as I'm trying to learn the tool as well. Um, as you see, I got about as far as I could. Um, now I need to move the tool rest. Get myself a better angle to finish rounding it. That seems to be the hardest part, especially with this wood that I'm using, which is ash, is uh, getting it round. Actually, get a little closer. adjust and I'll get this finished rounding out and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I hope you found that entertaining and amusing, laughing at my inability to be a wood turner at this point. So let's get back to some of more of the features. Um, this is touted as a 12 slash 24 volt. That's its range. It, it, it can spin from 12 volt power up to 24. And what they do um, is they give you this universal power supply that has a little switch right here. And so you can just dial in whatever speed you want. Uh, and I guess that equates to between 4,000 RPM up to 7,000 RPM. Some of the bonuses is I'm very impressed by this motor. It is quite stout. I think part of it was I'm inexperienced. Tools are not high quality, very hard wood. So, but the lathe handle it like a champ. I, it's perceived possibilities. And this whole overall length is 12 inches. It's not long enough, unfortunately, to do some of the things I want to do. This little angle iron piece of aluminum here, that's your tool rest. That doesn't seem to be holding up very well. Just from the couple little turns I did, it's already getting kind of rough edges here, and it's too small. A few little quirks, but I'm telling you what, man, for the money, you just can't beat this. In the description, I'm going to have links to the one I bought and all of the other little accessories that I think would be essential to getting this. And as a matter of fact, you know, you can buy wood turning tools from Banggood as well. And um, I think that's it. I think it covered everything. Oh, the only one other negative that I really will say that was bad about them is when I got the power pack, this is a European plug-in. Normally they give you the little adapter with it. So I hope you found this video informative. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, you guys take care.